Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to do a natural metal finish using Vallejo Metal Colors. Uh, I recently purchased these metal color um, paints from Vallejo and I really am impressed by them. Um, and I've actually done a couple of builds using uh, the Vallejo Metal Colors. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to use them, what to do to get the best results, everything. Um, so this is going to be a full tutorial video on getting a natural metal finish. Um, um, here is a test piece I did with all the Vallejo, uh, Vallejo metal colors that I have on four different primer backgrounds. Uh, gloss black, black, gray, and white primer. Um, and you can see there's a beautiful uh, look you can achieve with these paints. So I'm very, very impressed with them. This doesn't have a gloss on it, so uh, the shine that's coming through is the natural pe um, uh, paint uh, reflectivity here. So great paints overall, really, really impressed with them. Um, and uh, let me show you how to get the best results with them. Okay, so the first step is you will have to prime your model. Um, in this uh, test piece I did, as I mentioned, I used four different primers and I found the white primer gave me a really nice look. The black primer gave me a beautiful shiny look, but the white primer gave me a uh, nice uh, shiny, not a shiny look, but a I think a more of a just a general weathered down aluminum look that I really really like. So I'm going to use the white primer here. I've already washed this model and um, I've uh, used isopropyl alcohol to wipe it down. Um, and you really want to do that with natural metal finish because everything will come through. So even the slightest fingerprint mark, hair, whatever it is will come through with a natural metal finish. So uh, always good to wipe down your model and wash your model as well. So as you can see, I'm building up the white primer here. And I'm using my Badger Patriot 105 with a 0.5 mill, uh, millimeter needle at 30 PSI for the Sino Res. Make sure when you're airbrushing to get every nook and cranny of your model. That is very important. If you miss something, it will uh, reflect uh, when you put on the natural metal finish. So uh, the intakes there and the bottom, the wheel wells, shoot them at different angles so you cover everything. And you can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process with the primer. It also makes it more uh, resilient as well. Now, you're always going to have some issue and you need to fix that for a metal uh, finish. So here I'm just sanding everything down, making it smooth. I also did find a couple of hairs. I have cats and the cat hair just goes everywhere. So you have to be uh, very careful and you know just sand that out. I recommend using a thousand grit to sand out um, any uh, minor imperfections. Now if they're major imperfections you will need to go coarse uh, more coarse with the sandpaper but i genuinely recommend a thousand grit uh, then use two thousand and three thousand so that everything's uh, on the surface is smooth for the natural metal finish and as you can see i'm sending quite a lot because i found a couple of cat hair i'm also so, um, smoothing out the primer as well uh, in some areas it does get gritty in corners um, when you spray primer will leave almost a gritty like finish um, and you have to sand it down so in those 90 degree angle areas that's also key and that's for every primer I've not found a primer that doesn't do that all right now we're going to talk about how to correctly spray layer metal colors we've done the sanding we fixed uh, the errors that we found we're ready with the painting now so I am using uh, Vallejo Metal Colors new formula bottles. I really like them. The old formula uh, bottles are discontinued and the new formula you can tell because they say new formula on there. Um, and shake the metal uh, Vallejo Metal Colors first. Make sure there's no paint on the bottom, it's all bubbly. And then what you're going to do with these paints is, the old paints you could thin with the Tamiya acrylic thinner 50-50 and they would spray beautifully. Uh, they did. If you didn't do that, you would have uh, build up on the needle, you would have uh, stoppage, and you would have to spray out. Now with these ones, 
do not use the Tamiya acrylic thinner, um, but you can use the Vallejo Flow Improver. So what I've done is added about two drops of Vallejo Flow Improver um, to, uh, to, the, to the paint, and I'm adding a little bit more. So roughly about 80% paint to 20% Flow Improver. Back flush, and you're looking for these type of bubbles right here, like the chocolate milk type of bubbles. And you're good to go. Always test on a scrap paper, uh, scrap paper first. And as you can see, it's uh, oh, well. I'm sorry, the, <laughs> that angle's bad. But you can see that on the model, it's spraying really well, and it's there's no stopping, there's no issues, there's no uh, no negatives. And the fleck on these new paints is just this, just amazing. You can't tell really that they are acrylic paints. Uh, I mean, if you if you didn't know this uh, this finish uh, was achieved by Val uh, Vallejo Metal Colors. I think you would honestly think it was probably a uh, lacquer or a enamel um, uh, paint on there. The fleck is really, really, really tiny in these new paints, so I really like it a lot. And I'm very impressed with them. They spray beautifully, as you can see, I'm coming to the area. I'm using my Badger um, Patriot 2 millimeter. I like to use a smaller millimeter um, airbrush when I'm doing uh, painting, uh, especially when I'm doing uh, metal colors. I like to control the paint that way. The smaller needle size lets me control the paint and I can go in smaller segments and control everything. Now there is an error on the wing. Um, as you can see, there was a mistake uh, that I didn't fix in the priming stage, um, but I will go back and fix that. And you can just uh, sand it out with about 2,000 uh, to 6,000 grit uh, uh, sandpaper. Again, as you can see, the, the finish is coming out really beautifully. It's got a nice aluminum look. It's not super shiny. I can turn this super shiny, uh, even with white primer. Um, what I can do is before I spray the Vallejo Metal Color uh, on the primer, I can use a gloss coat and it will come out very shiny. So if you wanna go for more of a shiny look, uh, which is not what I'm going for this model, I want it to be like a everyday, it's been used for a little bit. So it's not super dirty, but it's not super shiny. But you can see I'm getting some really great results with the paint. It looks, it's got a nice, um, a beautiful aluminum finish to it. I ran out of paint there, adding in some more paint. Again, same process, adding in a couple of drops of the Vallejo Flow Improver paint, back flush, testing, and we're back at it. And as you can see, the paint is fairly uh, dry already. I'm using my hands, I forgot to. Uh, put on my um, gloves and I'm not having any issues uh, the paint isn't sticking to my hand it's not peeling off etc now I would recommend obviously using gloves I, I did forget but you can see the versatility of the paint and the paint is very resilient uh, to uh, being handled so which is really nice now some of the lacquers and the enamels you cannot handle it like this they will just come apart um, if you don't wear gloves or uh, you know, use some mechanism to hold the model. And again, the paint that is on my hand, I'm gonna wash away very quickly with the soapy water, um, and it'll be great. As you can see, we're getting a really nice finish on here and uh, finishing up the bottom. Remember, always to, uh, to remember uh, to spray at every angle so you cover everything. Uh, you don't want the primer uh, showing through on uh, areas you miss. So I'm looking for whitish areas, and I can achieve a different tone by this uh, method as well. There you go, I'm gonna let it dry. Now protecting the natural metal finish. This is very important. So Vallejo has this metal varnish, but I'm not using that. I'm using the Gunzi uh, Shine Enhancer. This is the best uh, protective sealer I have ever used. It is my absolute favorite, and it doesn't uh, in any way ruin the model uh, or the paint it uh, goes on very nicely it goes on um, as you can see it's starting to uh, get really shiny um, there we go and it's gonna do a great job just uh, let it dry for 30 minutes all right stay tuned for part two